wasn't gonna talk in this video, and now I'm talking in this video, so I'm a little unprepared, but that's okay. I wanted to do a St. Patrick's Day look, and I got inspired by something that I found on Pinterest, but I do it a little bit different than they do. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and to get started, I have done this eye. And I really like it so far. I'm kind of crouched in a weird position, but that's okay. Um, I really like it, and yeah, sorry about my face. I've been breaking out, and I think I'm having a bad reaction to some medicine that I'm taking. So, Alright, first things first. Um, we're doing our eyeshadow first, because there's quite a bit of fallout with this and with my other case so that's why I do that so I'm just using the brush it comes with and it has a little black on it which I think actually helps me a little bit but you know it'll be okay and then just put it under your eyes starting at the edge you can wing it out however much you want and I like to go all the way in. With it. But kind of get more faded as you go in. I'm going to put a little bit more green because it's looking kind of black. I just want to make it even with the other eye. And then what I'm going to do is kind of blow that off a little bit. And use the drama case and use the green color in this one. And get that on my brush. Get a lot of it. And put that starting in and working my way toward the middle and stop at the middle. Um, if that makes sense. So just like here. that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is take the brush that comes with my Go With The Pro Mini Brush Kit, and I would be using tons of different brushes, but I'm on spring break and I don't have them with me, because I was silly. Um, and what I'm going to do is take this brown color from the drama case and um, kind of do a line on my crease. And hopefully after you see it, that will make sense. To kind of go in my crease a little bit. I'm doing more of a line than I normally do. The windship wiper motions are better than my usual dome circular motions. Using the same brush though, I'm taking the white from the drama case and um, putting that right here and blending that in. And we're almost done with the eyes. A lot faster than I thought it was. Um, and take the Goldilux 
um, and just kind of pat it in first and then blend it out. It's a really, um, I don't know, it's a really colorful eyeshadow. So you want to make sure you get it even throughout. And blend it into the crease. I love this color. I hardly ever wear it, but I should. It's so pretty. Alright, and last but not least for the eyes, I am taking my Scandalash hookup, which we now have in a full size. Um, it's apparently it's a favorite, and it's been a favorite for a while. Finally got a full size version, but for now I'm sticking with my Lash Act full size. This is a good travel size. I'm just wiggling my wand a little bit, but not a lot. I'm doing that both the top and bottom. And since there's such heavy green at the bottom, I don't feel like I need to do any eyeliner. But if you did want to do eyeliner, I would suggest a thin black line on top and not on bottom. Um, so, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, since my skin is acting very crazy, I'm definitely going to be using my Save the Day concealer. And my handy dandy concealer brush. get all the pesky spots that might be breaking out or whatnot. It might be red or um, puffy or whatever. I mean, it's not going to reduce puffiness, but it'll definitely reduce redness and dark circles and all that fun things that we get to deal with. That's what makeup's for. Once you have that done, you want to, um, I'm just going, um, I'm just going to go ahead and buff it out, um, you can do a liquid foundation or not, but I'm just going to do this, don't have to be too camera ready tonight, I'm just going on a date, so. If you want to be camera ready though, I would definitely suggest using Got the Goods as a base and then setting it with either our setting powder or powder buff. Whatever is available. Alright, once you get that done, take your favorite blush. I'm using this one because it looks good with everything. If you don't remember, this is Cameo. Um, and just dusting that on my cheeks. And sometimes I would go down here too, but since I have some redness there, I don't want to accentuate that. And last, but certainly not least, we want to make our lips very kissable because you need to wear a shirt that says kiss me I'm Irish so this is juice gems in um, juicy papaya and it makes your lips taste good as well as look good it's a very natural pink color so there is the final look I hope you like it and you have a safe and fun St. Patrick's Day